everyone, so if you were just watching my what's in my purse video, um, you know that I'm wearing almost the exact same thing, but I threw on this cardigan because it started to get cold and I was freezing. Anyways, today's video is a one-of-a-kind review. I've never done a review like this because it's, I think, a first of its kind out there in the market right now. It's a BB cream for your hair. This is Pantene's Ultimate 10 BB cream. I found this at Walgreens for $6.49. I don't know, I just had to get it. It said BB cream, so I was like, I'm gonna get it. So, I don't wanna take you back to what BB creams are originally. You know, if you're a makeup junkie like me, you know, BB creams are, you know, short term for blemish bombs or beauty bombs. Originally, beauty bombs or blemish bombs were used by plastic surgeons on their patients when they're done to have their surgery. BB creams were used on it to give it protection and also to get the inflammation down. It also helps with the blemishes to heal and also cover up scars at the same time. And then there was a huge boom of BB creams in Korea because a lot of the women there started using it because they want this, you know, really polished look and a really nice porcelain skin. So that became like a huge, huge thing. So BB creams in Asia and even here, like the Asian brands, they give you, you know, a nice, almost full coverage foundation and they're thicker and then the american brands like revlon maybelline l'oreal and even covergirl and now physicians formula released their own bb creams and they're just really kind of tinted moisturizers with a little bit of coverage not even medium to full nowhere near that so a lot of the original purpose of the bb cream wasn't in the American brands. And a lot of the BB creams in Asia have, you know, two-in-one things as I mentioned earlier. They're, they're helping with the blemishes, they're sometimes whitening even, they can, you know, deal with the inflammation, so it's three-in-one, four-in-one kind of things. So this is where I want to, you know, flow into the BB cream for the hair. So this one from Pantene is 10-in-1 and it's a care and styling in one simple step and there's 10 things that it claims to do but I just want to read a little bit in the back. It said that it's inspired by skincare's BB phenomenon. This leave-in formula gives hair a healthy look while preparing it for an enhanced styling control and a silky smooth finish. Now when you have wet hair you want to use one to two pumps. Use, as more, oh, use more as necessary. Do not rinse off style hair as usual. And then it comes with the pump and that's just like half of a pump. What I did was when I had wet hair earlier, I just took a little bit of it. It's actually lotion, so it's very moisturizing and it's not sticky, doesn't feel greasy. And I just run it through my hair. But earlier, I put two pumps for this length of a hair when my hair was still wet because that's what it said to do. I put a little bit more than two actually because I felt like it didn't you know, spread all over my hair. So as I said earlier, this comes with the pump. It actually looks like the pump that was on the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. And this, I got it from Walgreens for $6.49. You can get it at Target or Walmart, I think for a lot cheaper. But I read online that a lot of people are having a hard time find this thing. And there was a bunch at my Walgreens. So I don't know, maybe it's just a luck with wherever you live. But, um, so let's get started. In the back, there's about 10 things that it claims to do, so I want to go through it. But before that, I want to give you a little bit of background of my hair. I never had it rebonded, whatever it's called, hot oil. I never had a cellophane or whatever that is, but I do dye my hair a lot. Like, my hair has been color treated professionally in box dyes, but I never bleached it. I just never had the guts to do it, maybe soon, and you'll see it. I don't even know what my natural hair color is anymore. I have been dyeing my hair since I was nine. I have minor problems. I get split ends, I get breakage, I also get, you know, the tangles back here. And my hair tends to get dry and frizzy. So there's days when it looks like this, and when there's days that it's just up in a ponytail because it's so frizzy that I can't... It's unmanageable. So with that being said, I want to go through the 10 things that it claims to do. So the first one is repair for rough hair. Now, 
rough hair I believe is you know when you feel it it's kind of not silky it's damaged from heat it's just not healthy I have been using this for the last four days and even immediately in day one of use I noticed that my hair wasn't as rough as it used to be so I think it worked for that matter so the second thing it claims is that it strengthens against damage now I said that my hair was already pretty damaged because of the dye whenever I brush my hair I just feel like my hair is falling apart it's breaking off from its strand and it's kind of coating my hair so when I brush it off it doesn't fall apart this has been preventing to do that number three four and five the things that it claims is silky softness brilliant shine and smoothing I think these three are connected together I really think that my hair has gotten smoother um, in the last four days of use and then there is you know a nice shine to it I don't know you guys be the judge of it but it's it's pretty shiny I mean like my hair is like this if I don't blow dry it or anything it's just flat and um, I've lost the shine through the years and I just get it back whenever I dye my hair but usually after weeks of dyeing uh, you know you lose the shine of your hair and with this thing I think I got it back what do you guys think pretty shiny right Number six, moisture. So I believe that this thing will give you moisture. As you've seen earlier, I put a pump here on my hand. With the lotion consistency, that helps usually a lot for moisture, locks in moisture for your hair. And if your hair is dry, mine was really, really dry, but my hair is not curly. It's naturally straight and it was frizzy. So it did help with that. I have not stopped using this thing. I have been using it every day since I got it, so it still looks healthy. You know, like it's hydrated, it's moisturized. It's also lightweight, even though it's moisture, not unlike unlike other leave-in conditioners there, you feel like your hair has gotten weighed down because of whatever product you put in there just to give it moisture, but this one is still like lightweight. Frizz control, not my hair is very frizzy back here. Just because like I have my hair in a ponytail a lot when I am at work because I don't like my hair down as much as I used to because you know as I said earlier it's pretty damaged and it gets poofy so I keep it in a um, ponytail but because of this product I have been letting my hair down a lot heat protection I can't quite say anything about the heat protection um, I use the Tresemme one as a heat protectant whenever I blow dry my hair, but I rarely use heat on my hair as it is, so I can't vouch for that right now. So I'm going to go to number 9. I think those two go hand in hand together, flyaways and manageability. I don't have flyaways. I never get them. I don't know. It's just that my hair is naturally like this dead flat straight. And now that it's, you know, moisturized, easier to manage. So to sum everything up, is this the best thing out there? No. Did they have to call it the BB cream for hair? No, absolutely not. There are other products out there that can probably give you the 10 things that they claim. The Suave um, Keratin Leave-In Conditioner I use gives me moisture, gives me shine. However, it's not lightweight like this and um, it's a heat protectant at the same time. There are other products out there that gives you smoothness, shine, and manageability in one bottle. Sometimes there's three different bottles, but what I think Pantene was trying to do here was cut the time of you know grabbing other bottles and using different products on your hair in just one bottle. Since I've used this product in the last five days, my hair has changed and I normally don't wear my hair down. It's only in videos. I always keep my hair up. And it's been really great, actually. So if I paid just for those two products for $6, yeah, I'll, I'll repurchase this again. But the other additives to it, the shine is the brilliance, as you can see, it's giving me a really, really nice shine to my hair. It doesn't say that it's a leave-in conditioner, but it moisturizes, so I believe, you know, that can act as the same thing because my hair is like, I put leave-in conditioner in it. But, you know, 
we all have different hair please keep that in mind I guess for me the product worked it might not work for you but you know it doesn't it's okay to try it out it's only six dollars and you can use it as a heat protectant if it doesn't work it's not really a waste of money so I hope you guys like this review that is it for the Pantene Pro V ultimate 10 BB cream for your hair I know it might sound ridiculous but it's worth a try if you had a chance to pick up this product already and have tried it if you had if you had a bad experience or a good experience with it please let me know I am so interested to know that's it thank you for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe so if you really find this video helpful don't forget to thumbs this up like it and favorite it even and yeah don't forget to subscribe too if you're not subscribed to my channel yet Yes, yes, thank you, and thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.